27. Okay, uh, so the first thing on the agenda is uh, setting the goal for upcoming metric release, which is on the March 20, uh, March 1st, 2022. So we haven't uh, uh, we don't have anything in the like pipeline for the release. So I was just wanted to get your opinion or thought. Um, let me, I'm pulling up the spreadsheet so people can move this out of the way. You are in the common. I know, I know. I had to move something out of the way. Okay. So we do have a couple mm -hmm. that um, that are in progress. More than a couple. Yep. But no work has been done on them. Okay. Well, I know that our timeline it it's like six weeks yes. when they're asking us to have metrics kind of done. I um, think it's uh, four, five weeks, not even a six week. Okay. Um, let me. I mean, I don't know what people's thoughts are. I mean, we can always take a look at. It's some of these. Let me. I'm gonna pull something else up here. Give me just a second. Sure. There was. Uh, um, there was also a conversation that's occurring from folks at GitHub about value derivation okay. from open source software. Um, and so Peter has kind of started this conversation. It might be worth looking at for next okay. week, Vinod, like maybe I okay. could share this link and you could go through this and we could see kind okay. of where people are at with respect to value capture. Okay. Kind of what how people think about it. So we're, Sean and I are going to be talking with Peter um, probably next week just about this in a little bit more detail. So that's something I could also bring to the group. Okay. But it's probably worth looking at. I, I thought that would be something we'd want to look at. Did you see this too, Stephen? Yeah, I thought I, I thought I forwarded it over to you. And oh, you did. Sean. Exactly. You did. Yeah, exactly. You're the one that put this on my radar. I mean, and was it an os ospology? I don't remember where you found it. No, no, no. This is from Sustain. But I think there's like an upcoming um, ospology discussion about value from somebody too. Okay. Let me let me check that out. Can I you might share? Have, I might have missed it, but okay. Yeah, here it is. It's um, February 2nd. Uh, this is, um, I'll drop the link in a second, but it's um, it's Amanda Kasari talking about how yeah. Google figured out how to value open source, or at least in their context. Because are they kind of related to the these value and organization? Do you see my spreadsheet? Yeah, um, I, I value. Oh, let's see. The full thing says. How do I get back to that? But, uh, let's see. No, it just talks about who Amanda is. <clears throat> so let's see. As much of the open source story focuses on community and public commons, organizations are not always financially aligned to these goals alone. Successfully pitching the value of open source to an organization requires a focus beyond bottom line. Okay. Blah, blah. We'll talk what we've learned about demonstrating the value of open source, working with stakeholders to identify their needs and how to define success metrics for open source within an organization. Okay, so that is that's like row 30 here. We have this 
a metric called value organization derives from an open source project. Right. So, so maybe if you could share that link, Stephen. I'm about to, if the chat will so empower me. It, you shall, you there should be empowered. Oh, no, it's, it's more like which screen is the tiny little chat window hiding on and can I find it? So I have now found where I put the chat window. Okay. Over. There it is. Okay. Because maybe we could start, like I could, what I'll do is I'll take, um, where was that one? Measuring value. Did you put something in the chat? Oh yeah, you got it in there. Yep. Okay. Um, so I'll share my screen again. I'm like trained when I go through various tabs now, but I, <laughs> I don't always like to have that recorded <laughs> just in case. Um, so maybe Vinod, like there's the GitHub one. Okay. I pasted both the links in our uh, meeting minutes. Okay. And then here's the one that Steven just put in. So maybe like these two can be checked out prior to the next meeting. Okay. And see if we can't. And and I mean, that, oh, go ahead, Stephen. Sorry. Yeah, the aspology date works real well because that's in the week between our, our next now and our next meeting, right? Because it's February 2nd. Okay. So maybe you and I can, Vinod, you and I can take a look at these links. And start this metric. Yep. Uh, which one was it? Value. It is a uh, bring or drive where these, these were two separate metrics. I think it's derive. Okay. It's kind of my. Okay. Right, because then okay. you and I can kind of get that yeah. off and trying to capture what other people are saying. Okay, and that might be even if it's just one metric that we have yeah. for the release. Usually, this, as was pointed out, this coming release for metrics is usually pretty light. Yep. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I'll I'll take a look and I'll like uh, from there I'll add the content and then we can take a look what we get okay. from those. Right on. Cool. And have we confirmed with um, with Anna Hatch? She's coming to the next meeting too. Did That's right. No. I mean, we could bring that up. Here it is, right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And maybe I, also. I'm sorry, Vinod, but I was yeah. going to say two for. We might want to think about, you know, this round. We need to, I think we need to clean up our metrics just in the sense of either reviewing some of the ones that have already been released. Yep. Um, and I really do think the the social listening metric needs to be. I think in the last meeting, we decided that we are going to, it's more complicated, like it's a metric model of metric model like yeah. even upper <laughs> upper level so all the little russian dolls you keep yeah <laughs> so i just i honestly think we need to remove this yep so just, so 
what to do of the release metric. It is a release metric. Like, how do we manage? This is the first instance in the chaos history. So maybe let's um, let's come here and maybe like in the issues. Okay. So we need a new issue here, Vinod, for our metrics release. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Uh, where, Which, where am I? Oh, I'm in. You are in the metric metric uh, repo, not in the value. Yeah, whoops. All right, I'll get there. Just give me a second. So we need, so here, um, so metrics release here. Yep. I don't know. We have metrics in progress. So we need this. We need a release okay. notes, a new issue for release notes. And then in there, it would be the release notes would be um, add and then remove what do we call it? Social listening. I'm thinking we just put it here. Yep. And then we can tag Kevin in okay. that. And so could you do that? Vinod? Yes, I'll, I'll do it. Okay, I, you can just copy. Yep. This, this yep. just set it up on release notes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll close. Uh, I think is this it is closed. Or? Okay, yeah, I'm looking okay. in the closed place. Okay, anyway. okay. Yeah, I'll open the new one and uh, label it. Okay. 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 Cool. Is that good? Does that make sense? Yep. yep. Does that make sense to uh, Stephen? Yeah. You guys. Can Can you go to the issues also? There is a one issue I think which Sean posted. Uh, Open issues, yeah. The first one contributed net recommendability. Is it an idea or I don't know? I when I looked at the can you open the Google Doc in that? I see there was some work, but it was carried from somewhere. I have no clue about this. Is no, so there is some work done on this, but who has done it? I this was just brought into the value and by Sean and I have no idea about this. So the work is already there. It was postponed because uh, the this release is, was freeze. I, this is from, I know where this is from. It's from the Asia Pacific call. Okay. And so is it in here at all? No, it's not in the list or it's anywhere. It was just moved right, here and right here. With this detail. Okay. It's right here okay yeah so we this is like if it is ready we can just review it and we can have then two releases i'm not sure about this one sean can even or you yeah. can tell me so maybe we can include this too yes okay um do this Okay, and then right. All right. Um, and then we should 
Is this the same? I think so. Yep, it is the same. Okay. Yeah. Oops. All right, um, so I might give Sean the action item for this. Okay. I don't, you know. So uh, uh, we are we agreed to move the meeting time one hour later. I'll add it to the list so that I can then send the reminder accordingly. Okay, and update yeah. the calendar. Yes. Um, do you have the access to update the calendar? No, I'll ask the Kevin or Elizabeth to get it done. Okay. Okay. All right. So if we're gonna remove. If we want to remove social listening, sounds like some B movie thriller on bad behavior in social media, some stalker films, social listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, what what we need to do is we need to remove it from the repo because the repo is only for one yeah, really. and completed metrics. So okay. I think what we need okay. to do create a new folder and keep it over there so mm -hmm. that the record remains there and we can name it something like remove metric or something right so here okay so what we need to do right is create a google doc for this okay, okay. and then basically just take all of this and okay. put it into the google doc okay and then update this link to the Google Doc link okay. to basically move it back out of the repo. Rather than Google Doc, how about we keep it in the GitHub and move, uh, create a new folder and move the file to that folder? I don't want to do that because GitHub, the way our workflow is, is right now GitHub is only used for in review and released metrics. Okay. okay. So we don't. We are not using GitHub for archiving. The only thing we archive in GitHub is minutes. Mid minutes. Okay. And so I'd, I'd rather just get it out to a Google Doc. Okay. And we just set it out there. We'll track it in the spreadsheet here. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I don't. I don't feel like making a new thing. So. Yeah. I I'll do this move then. Yeah. Okay. And we could just put it back under considering or something like that. Okay. You know, we, um, yeah, considering is fine. Okay. Um, the other thing we could do is we could move it to here in to, considering. Okay, metric model, yep. That would probably make the most sense. So we would yes. here mark this as moved. Okay. And then 
Why don't we just do this right now? Yep. Move to metrics models. Slide. And then can you, can we just do this really fast? Uh, because I don't have access to the metric model, so I'll not be able to move. Why don't I you, have... maybe Stephen can start talking about next two weeks with Anna visiting and maybe what we hope to get out of that. Yeah. I'll just so, yeah, I mean, that organization is named after a document that was first circulated called the Declaration on Research Assessment to try to get academia to go beyond the traditional horrible metrics that they have of, you know, how many people three years later after you published your journal had actually read it and included it somewhere to make sure that you were meaningful. There's a, they have a broad, they formed an organization around that. There's a broad list of um, case studies of different um, approaches that I've, I've shared with you folks at one point. Um, and they are building a dashboard system. They got 1.2 million from the Arcadia Foundation to build a dashboard system. They've been doing some public meetings around what things might be useful exemplars of metrics or policies or other things so they can start figuring out how to build this metric system. And um, <clears throat> they were unaware that you all existed. <laughs> Okay. And, and it was my, you know, just as I did with um, Center for Open Science, I wanted to get the groups together to start talking, you know, they've, they've been pointed to the, the chaos community software stacks. They have a third party developer working on the metric system. But we had, as a group, had indicated an interest in trying to kind of get them on board with our metrics process and see what we do and what metrics we have and start at least sharing stuff back and forth, right? Whether or not they adopt what we have, knowing, I think Matt, especially, you were really interested in making sure that like the process model was more important than whatever metrics they had versus what we had. Does that yes. strike a bell with anybody? It does. Okay. So, um, I don't, I don't know how much they've looked at what's on our site, um, but this is kind of a first getting to know you talk through what each group does and is doing and hopefully finding ways to support each other's work, if not formally work together. That's, that was the thinking that I had and that you shared. So is she going to talk next week or whatever in two weeks? I mean, we should probably give her a little bit of time just to tell us kind of what her efforts are. Um, I, I think I, I would hope that she would have looked at, at the stuff on the chaos site because it's pretty clear, you know, what happens to a certain extent and what the history is. Um, she may or may not have dived down into kind of the, the early stage academic metrics we have. So I think we wanna hopefully listen to her talk, answer any questions she has, and then kind of respond to her, but she may want a quick five minute flyby from us first, not clear. That sounds good. What's up, Sean? You're muted, but that's cool. Not much. Sorry, I'm late. But you're not wearing the cool blue glasses you were wearing yesterday. No, those are in. I didn't even change into my computer glasses. I just got online as quick as I could. So yeah, we were just um, starting to touch base on Anna Hatch from Declaration on Research Assessment coming next week. Um, oh, great. We may, they are, they're pretty clear on what their process is gonna be. So it might behoove members of this group who are gonna be in that meeting to go, if you just drop D-O-R-A, Dora, and then Tara, T-A-R-A, into your favorite search engine, 
that will take you directly to their project page where they've got milestones set up and what community meetings they have already had and stuff like that. Nice. So, so reviewing that at least, and if you've got time looking through some of their case studies or other items they've got up, um, they spend a lot of time collecting examples of and pointing people to other things like, you know, narrative-based vitas and different, you know, universities are doing metrics based on discipline or flexible metrics in terms of the, the RTP process, things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, this, is, this looks like a fairly well organized initiative amongst many initiatives along these lines that I've seen over the years. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, in terms of a community input and, you know, community input, alpha beta release, feedback on the software, they've, they've got a pretty good set of milestones laid out. So a question, are they coming to the value meeting? Like, are, uh, have they confirmed that they are joining in the next meeting or? There have been emails back and forth. Um, let me see if I can find the latest from her. Let's see. She said, I've marked the date in my calendar, but please send the joining information what's available. So, and that was to me and Matt. So Matt, you might want to just send, send the info for the Zoom leak and confirming. Are you? Okay. Looking yeah. And yeah. Yeah, the timings also because next from next meeting we are changing the timings. To yeah, if we change the time, she might not be able to come. So maybe you want to keep this time for one more meeting, and then switch okay. after that. Because if we, if she's yeah. blocked this out, we don't know if um, we're going to monkey wrench things by. Uh, yep, that's fine. Then saying we're not meeting at this time anymore. So, Matt, are you sending her the email as an action item? I'm currently doing, yeah, you can put me down at the action item. I'm currently doing the social listening okay. thing. Okay. I'm um, sorry, yeah, I mean, that's. That's as much detail as there is, I think, to that agenda item. Um, I went to one, I went to their second community meeting that's listed on that page, and it was primarily, I can't remember the name of the system, but those virtual sticky note group sticky note systems, they they had the people who showed up, they had about, I don't know, between 50 and 75 people show up, I think, and do kind of a core dump of virtual yellow stickies on various items that they were aware of that were good examples of academic performance metrics or, or Vita things or those types of things. Um, so they're collecting a huge conglomeration of documents and data and trying to chew their way through it. Um, I do not, I'm pretty sure they said that those, those communal core dumps were gonna stay available on um, whatever link they put them up at. So we could look at asking her to share those with us. So we could take a look at that, maybe even pre-meeting. Um, but yeah, they're, they're still very much in the kind of information gathering stage. So it's a good time to be talking to them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that dish, that dashboard system will play out in the long run, obviously. Um, the, the mystic work we've been doing, um, we're going to have 
a couple more students working on to to grow over the next six to nine months. And Emmy just finished doing a very impressive set of documentation on how to implement that and get it running. I'll make sure they're just going through a final pass on it now and I'll share that link with you folks next time, probably as part of that meeting. It's kind of a good example of the fact that, you know, there are lots of people who make use of this set of software that the community has built, um, not just large efforts like the Linux Foundation, but, you know, our cute little effort to try to do things on campus. So maybe that's helpful data. I'll see if either Mike or Emmy is available for that meeting as well in two weeks. Might not be a bad idea to have them join. All right, I'm done with my things. Sean and Vinod, yep. I tagged you in two pull requests. Okay. So one Ooh. was describing the move of social listening to the metrics model working group. And then the other is just a simple update of the table. You know what I mean? The focus area. Yeah. Too. All right, Vinod, do you want to merge these around me too? So one is just a delete out of here. <clears throat> And Sean, just so you know what we're doing with social listening. I, I can do it. Uh, yeah, we're moving it to a metric model. Yep, and so the process yeah. is I'm deleting it here. We created a Google Doc. I put that Google Doc link in the metric model working group, and then they can pick mm -hmm. it up. See what I'm saying? Just yep. Cool. Yeah, that makes total sense. That's That's what that thing is. Yep, agreed. Okay, cool. I'm merging your pull requests. There's really not much to it. It's uh, just a bunch of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope, they're done. They have, they be merged. Thank you. How was class today, Sean? How are your students doing? It's good. It's a string algorithm class. And so for the first one of the first things they did is build a, an algorithm to beat Wordle. And, <laughs> and and literally in, in three guesses, we always get it like they've, they've got it down to a science. Anything less than three guesses is a little bit of luck, but like by the time you're on your you've guessed the second word there's usually there's def always less than 10 words left as possibilities i have been desperately avoiding it you know yeah i will not surprise you that since i'm a game professor i'm just like drowned in facebook notifications of world i'm like stop and i cannot afford any more distractions <laughs> Please do not yeah. suck me into this. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to post our algorithm to the internet and I'll share it. And then, then we're, we'll be over and we won't have to see those again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, the other thing that, that I had was if you, uh, let me share my screen was so project popularity mm -hmm. this came from asia pacific, asia pacific call or the yep i'm pretty sure it was asia pacific where this yep. came from yep. I uh, in the last meeting we decided that we are moving this as a metric model and to the metric model group right? instead of keeping it as a release metric we are moving this as a metric model and Move it to the metric model working group. Could we? I was kind of slacking with with June and um, Jehoi. Would could we? I'll, I'll take it on as an action item. But what I'd like to do is kind of take this 
metric model and put it into kind of the metric model format. And I do it kind of in the value. Yep. Like as part of our work. So I think it's okay, okay for the working groups to send a model. We okay. just did it absolutely. with we just yeah. did it with social listening <laughs> to yeah. send the model. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. To yeah. the to that working group. I think it would be a just a nice effort for okay. us here to send back to the Asia Pacific call. So Yeah, I completely agree. And I think I'll have to, part of it is they did this with the Open Euler community and I'll just have to. Mm -hmm. So Sean, could you, maybe I could ping you, maybe you and I could work on this a little bit. Cause I think yeah. you had some thoughts and some, yeah. there were some I things really, you liked about it. Yeah, I like a lot that they've assigned weights or a lot of the assigning of weights to different kinds of engagement because I think I think certainly not all engagement in a project is signals the same level of commitment or investment. Okay. And I think they, yeah. So and, uh, yeah, a drive by is worth X and somebody who's been doing it for a year is worth Y type of balances. That's more like a pull request that's accepted has a possibly greater signal of investment than a comment on an issue. So like a single pull request from anyone would get would be measured in terms of the same value to the project's quote unquote popularity. Okay. They would have the same multiplier. So it wouldn't distinguish between frequency of <clears throat> individual contributions, but rather <clears throat> provide an aggregate indicator. And again, it's it may not be right, but it's consistent it's and it's consistent and it's I think well thought out can provide a, a comparative indicator of something like what we would call project popularity, which is, you know, otherwise fairly ambiguous and uh, heuristically defined. Yeah, and I think, yeah, I had one one suggestion I had was for this <laughs> graph to include, to include the, there were, I think, 92 or some number of working groups in Open Euler, and the pie graph is just the top 10. I'd like to see how much of the total engagement in the 92 is those top 10. So I'd like to see like an other in that pie chart. Um, and when it goes to project popularity and we're talking weights and measures, you know, the way my brain yeah, works, I, I, Im I immediately go to where is, where is the metric for um, dollars generated by swag? How many units sold? Uh, is a t-shirt worth more value than a coffee mug in terms of how many people have bought it as to the popularity of the community? And... Yeah, I mean, I think I think engagement may be a better word for, the, for this metric, simply because popularity well, I, has a... Yeah. I had I had suggested that to June and to... Uh -huh. And they were both like, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. So we'll just rename yeah. it. Okay. I'm glad there are people who can explore that in a more adult fashion than I do because I just. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about the adulting here on Chaos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Sean, you and I will take that and I'll get it out to a document. I can't. I've asked for edit privileges on this a few times. I can't. So anyway, right. I'll and just. Since I, since I did see a mention of an event in Rochester in our last notes, um, things are moving forward. So I, I hope to be able to announce something in about three or four weeks. Where was this? This is a, a, a oh, summit yeah. that I hope to be able to hold here in Rochester at the, uh, the beginning of September. We can go skiing. Oh, September. No, we can't go skiing. No, no skiing September, but the, the as, one of, one of the main draws of an event that any event that I manage and bring to Rochester gets a reception with behind the scenes tours of the Strong Museum. So that's usually a draw. You know, I'm thinking about selling my Gorf machine, just so you know. Um, well, if you, uh, <laughs> I don't know if we have, uh, I don't know how many Gorfs we have, I can certainly. Uh, uh, well, maybe, maybe I can buy it since I'm still not finished fixing Pac as Pac-Man. <laughs> It's just such a finicky machine. It's it's a really interesting machine because it's the first arcade game that had rotating screens. 
you know like it yeah. wasn't like Ast or um, space invaders is the same screen every single time um and gorf was the first one that had different screens that you had to go through and it well, was you know, actually, it was supposed to be a tie-in with the star trek movie if you if you know that too but that fell through so the, the death of pinball the the final straw for um so was it bally or williams the the last the last big um pinball company aside from Star <laughs> had done this um this thing called um pinball 2000 which was um a pinball machine with a I can never remember whether it's poppers or peppers ghosts. There was a monitor and mirrors. So it looked like you were shooting the pinball through this kind of semi-transparent video game. And that would actuate against the pinball equipment in the back. And yeah, the, the first one did okay. And then the second one tanked because they tied it to um, the first Star the, Wars. Well, the okay. first Star Wars of the second batch, right? The really terrible yeah. Star Wars yeah. movie. Revenge from Mars. Revenge from Mars did well, and Revenge from Mars is pretty fun. They're both pretty fun. We've we've got them both running in the museum. But I've never seen those. But yeah, they um they shipped it too late, and the movie was bad. And and William said, "That's it. We're out of the pinball business." So right. the only one, the only big one left is Stern, who went from all you know, almost all original games to almost entirely licensed games yeah rush is the new one everything they do and and the museum now has a deal with stern where um any new machine that stern ships they get a copy of so i'll have to go play rush in a couple of weeks i have not gone down the pinball route myself i own three arcade games but no pinball they're just too they're too much they're me. they're <laughs> more more expensive and finickier yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i i don't own any of them because i can go two miles down the street and hit the museum anytime i want so <laughs> all right cool okay so at the Last thing, we have one minute. So one thing in the agenda is tidying up the meeting uh, minutes and archiving them. So I'm planning to archive the entire 2021. Is that okay with everyone? And then I'll, I can just that, archive them. Have you okay. seen how Justin has been doing it? Yes, uh, in the com uh, in the DI working group. Yeah, yep. exactly. I really like yeah. his approach. So that's working. Yeah, out. yep. I, uh, so. I yeah, go ahead. yeah, I think as we get, as we get through January, uh, that that makes sense. Uh, in evolution, yep. we kept November and December just because yep. we wanted to go back and remember what we were working on. Yeah, yep. I'm cool. sure this is fine. Uh, yep, I'll, I'll move that everything. Okay, I'll keep it as an action item. I have already given myself an action item. I just wanted the consensus of the group. Okay, yep. well that sounds good. Right you on. are you are so blessed. Yes. <laughs> <Here we are. laughs> Thank you. So we are at the end of our meeting. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, and next week we are meeting at the same time, but afterwards we'll be meeting. Well, one next hour. week we don't have a meeting, like two weeks. Oh, know. yeah, two weeks from now. In the next meeting we are meeting at the same time, and afterwards okay. we'll be uh, okay. postponing. To okay. Can you? Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, Fanad. Thank Thanks, Mako. Thanks, Stephen. Bye, Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.